All right, so we've defeated the two dragons. Queen Chimera, have you been injured? I am fine, just tired. But look, the moons are no longer aligned. Tell me, tell me about the dragons, the Euraxians. What is the state of our forces? Our scouts tell us that most of the Euraxians and dragons fled when the moons parted. Our own troops have not returned, but the main has sent an envoy. An envoy from the main? Hmm. If you'll excuse me, I have other business to attend to. We did it, Vyflor! We put the moons back in motion and defeated both Mulanir and Kelgrontid. Tyr, I want to thank you for everything. Elsewhere is safer today because of you. How did you finally figure out how to move the moons, Chimera? Just being on the plane of Jod clarified the memories I inherited at the Shadow Dance Temple. I saw the ritual in my mind and performed the actions. Oh, too bad the Dragon Horn did not survive. At least it lasted long enough to banish Calgrontid. Are we really sure that we defeated Calgrontid? Uh, he seemed extremely powerful at the end. He did grow larger with every infusion of power he absorbed. But the horn dislodged him from Jode's core, which allowed me to finish the ritual and end the eclipse. After that, a concern for another day, yes? Why did the main send an envoy? I cannot be named queen without the main's blessing. That, however, is my worry. For now, you should rest. We must honor our fallen and learn the fate of our troops at the Moon Gate. And after that, we will celebrate a new dawn for elsewhere. We have accomplished much, my friend. We overthrew the tyrant, Euraxia Tarn, defeated Zumak Foom, and the betrayer even killed at least two dragons and made the moons move in the sky. If only I could shake the sense of impending doom. What kind of impending doom are we talking about? Nothing specific. Not really. I guess this sense of worry will stay with me until I know the fate of Garish Reeves, Amarak, even Prefect Kalo. I would return to the Moongate, but other matters require my attention. Namely, the envoy of the main. You think our companions might not have survived the attack on the Moongate? That is just it. I have no idea. Moons. My head pounds. The effort I exerted at Jode's core was not without... a cost. Five Claw, could I convince you to determine the fate of my soldiers and our friends? Sure. I appreciate your assistance, my friend. Find out what happened to Garish Ri and the others, then bring word back to me. Meanwhile, I will try to find a few moments to rest before I meet with the main's envoy or worry about the other dragons. Isn't the dragon th threat over now? Far from it. But without Calgrontid and Mulanir to lead them, they are solitary beasts without a grand plan. Colossal, dangerous beasts to be sure, but not the overwhelming force they were under their dragon leaders. All right, let's find out what happened to the others. Let's see, we did get a skill point. Oh, he's alive. Good. 
It's good to see you, Five Claw. We only just returned and I have yet to report to the Queen. Kamira is all right, isn't she? We saw the moons move and the eclipse end, but we haven't heard what happened after you entered the moon gate. Kamira is fine. As a matter of fact, she sent me to find out what happened to you. After I was caught in that dragon blast, Zamarak tended to my wounds and took command of the soldiers defending the upper ridge. I'm sorry to say that I was in and out of consciousness for most of what happened next. So you don't know how the battle ended? I know that I am still alive and grateful to be back in Rimen. It's a miracle, thank the moons, that the city is free once more. If you want to know what really occurred at the moon gate, you'll need to ask Zamarak and Prefect Kelo. Your injuries, do you need to see the healers? There are those among the troops who need the healers more than I. But perhaps a few hours in the soothing springs will restore my strength. I'll need it too. I have much to do to help Kamira restore Enequina to its former glory. Hmm? Oh, it's you. Good to see you're still among the living. I suppose you had a hand in getting the moons to finally pull apart? Hang on, I need to finish my report. I find that it's best to write it all down while it's still fresh in my mind. Uh, that's what brought me here. Kamira wants to know what happened after we entered the Moon Gate. It's all in my report. Our troops held their ground and fought bravely. We lost many good soldiers, Kajidi and Imperial, but we did our duty. We slaughtered Euraxians by the score and kept the dragons at bay until the moons broke apart. The ending of the eclipse was significant? It was crucial to our survival. When the moons separated, the dragons broke ranks. They seemed to lose their drive, their purpose. They stopped attacking and flew off. Not a moment too soon. We had exhausted both our strength and our ammunition. What did the Araxians do then? The ones that survived Zamorak's charge lost what remained of their courage when the dragons abandoned the field of battle. They scattered like sand roaches and ran in all directions. I doubt they'll give the militia too much trouble going forward. So what will you and the Cygnus Irregulars do now? We still have a lot to do to heal the scars left by Euraxia and her mercenaries. I'll offer our services to Queen Chimera and Lord Garashri. Let them use us where we'll do the most good. So you'll help defend elsewhere? If that's what they need. But the Cygnus Irregulars are mostly military engineers, scouts, and trainers. We have a lot more to offer a kingdom that needs to be rebuilt than just blades and shields. That was our original mission, to help elsewhere. Zamarak is happy to see you, friend. After the dragons entered the moon gate and you followed, this one worried that all was lost. But then, the moons parted, and suddenly everything seemed all right. Kamira sent me to find out what happened to you and the others. Just what you would expect. We held our ground against the swarming Euraxians and their necromancers, repelled the dragons as best we could. This one let the desert wind flow through his limbs and claws, while our soldiers rallied to his side. So you defeated the Euraxians? Between the Kajiti militia and the Cygnus Irregulars, we held them off. When the moons separated, the Euraxians broke off their attack and scattered to the four winds. The remainder will be a nuisance, but they pose no threat to the kingdom. What about the dragons? Zamarat doesn't know for certain. We faced mostly the Euraxians on the upper ridge. Prefect Kelo commanded the Ballisti, so he could tell you more. This one, one does know that when the moons began to separate, and the dragons roared in rage and flew away. What will you do now, Zamarak? Zamarak hopes to serve as Queen Camille's call and defend the throne as he was trained to do. If she will not have me, well, Gareshri has many plans for improving life in this way. This one will be happy to help in any way he can. All right. Back to the palace we go. Outside, this 
one must see the view. This one never expected to set foot in the capital of an Equina again. She hoped the militia would succeed, but she didn't believe they stood a chance against the usurper queen. Kashia understands you played a significant role in these events, yes? I helped overthrow Euraxia, defeat the betrayer, and stop the dragons on the plane of Jod. Such wonders you have accomplished, and you have touched the face of blessed Jod. This one is in awe. Despite all that, the main has sent me to determine what happens next. Where is Lord Gareshri, the speaker of the main? Gareshri returned from battle and went to see the healers. What do you mean, what happens next? The healers? This one hopes the speaker wasn't gravely injured. As for your question, we must settle the matter of Enequina's succession. Kashia must determine if Kamira is the legitimate heir to the throne, and if so, recognize her claim. She's the only surviving daughter of King Hemakar. Doesn't that make her the queen? Certainly. But anyone can make such a claim. To be accepted by the Kajiti, she must be recognized by the main. With Gareshri indisposed, Will you stand with Kamira and vouch for her heritage? If so, please tell her I am ready to meet with her. Okay, I'll go find her. Before you return to Kamira's side, this one requests an additional favor. The main gave Kashia a sealed letter for Abner Thar, but he refuses to see me. I understand that you and he share a special bond. Perhaps you could deliver the letter. I can deliver the letter, but why is the main writing to Abner Tharn? The specifics concern the Tharn alone, but this one believes it deals with the artificial eclipse and its impact on Kajiti society. The moon has held great sway over the Kajit born under him. What does this mean for those born during this eclipse? I don't understand. No matter what caused the eclipse, Joan and Jod joined as one. When this occurs naturally, one born then may become the next main. But during a false eclipse, succession becomes a concern. The main hopes Tharn can explain the arcane implications. simply must stay for the ceremony. It's not every day we get to see a lovely cat receive a crown. Nonsense. And don't call me Abner. Besides, I think I've overstayed my welcome as far as Chimera is concerned. You and Cadwell, the two of you just can't leave well enough alone. No one was supposed to notice as I slipped out of Rinnan. Of course, very little has gone according to plan since the Rathstone tablet set me on this path. So you're leaving? I am neither sentimental nor enamored of pomp and circumstance. My time in elsewhere has shown me that I have limits. I am not the battle mage I was in my younger days. Besides, I hate parties. Small talk, speeches, canapes. Totally unbearable. Don't you want to be there when Camira is crowned queen? I watched firsthand as a remarkable young woman became a leader. She's already a queen. Everything else is simply ceremony. I've lingered here long enough. You were an able enough traveling companion. I may call on you again sometime. I have a letter for you. It's from the main. Hmm. An intriguing question. Arkajit born under a forced eclipse next in line for the main. But this other bit confirms my suspicions. I must travel to Pelotine at once. I'm sure we'll see each other again. Until then, farewell. Yeah, good luck. We accomplished much, but I fear we haven't seen the last of Calgrontide. I must investigate reports coming from the south. You, however, have a queen to crown. Take Cadwell with you and make sure he behaves. And tell Chimera... She did admirably. You think Calgrontid is still a threat? We saw no body, and there's no reason to suppose Calgrontid couldn't escape from Jode just as we did. He absorbed a remarkable amount of energy while the moons were aligned, after all. I'll send for you if and when I confirm my suspicions. Uh. 
I assure you, Kasia, my wounds are healing quite nicely. Nevertheless, this one has asked the Outlander to stand beside Kamira. Should I decide to give the main blessing? she was in here. Oh, she looks nice. Garish Ree told me you found him. He filled me in on what happened during the battle at the Moon Gate. Dragons and necromancers, I understand. But politics and coronations, ah, uh, they twist my tail, and their regalia, it pinches. Moons, I miss my leathers. Having second thoughts on becoming queen of Anacrina? I am having many thoughts, but I know what I must do. Like Anacrina and my other ancestors before me, I must stand tall and accept my responsibilities with humility and grace. Provided the main's envoy confirms my right to the throne. The envoy doesn't believe you're King Himaka's daughter? A woman is inscrutable. I think she just wants to see me suffer until she acquiesces and places the crown on my head. Before the full weight of the kingdom falls upon my shoulders, I want to tell you something. What is it? I want you to know I appreciate everything you have done for elsewhere. For me, I do not believe we would have survived without your assistance. Now, I understand the envoy asked you to stand beside me at the ceremony. Are you ready, my friend? Yeah, I'm ready. Healers were able to do wonders, my friend. I almost feel like my old self again. I will secure Kamira's claim. You just stand beside her and support her. She values your presence, as do I. But where is Kamira? I expected you to bring her in. She's coming. Who will confirm that Kamira is the daughter of King Hemakar and the rightful heir to the throne of Anequina? I will, as her guardian all these years, and as the speaker of the main, Kamira is the rightful heir. Come forth, daughter of Hemekar and Numara. Come forth, child of Enequina. Kamira, do you accept the duties of the throne? Will you lead this kingdom and protect its people? I do, and I will. Know then. That the main accepts and recognizes your claim. All hail, Kamira, Queen of Anequina! I promise to serve our people, and I offer thanks to all who helped achieve our recent victories. Finally, there is one I wish to honor, one whose assistance in these matters was unprecedented and invaluable. Five Claw. My comrade and friend, please, approach the throne. Courageous Five Claw, I will make sure your deeds are sung by my people. They will be told from one generation to the next. As Kunzari passed into legend, so too will you. I don't know what to say. Then say nothing, my friend. Just know that you helped deliver my homeland from tyranny. You helped me avenge my parents. You saved us from dragons and undead. 
We will never forget that. I, I will never forget that. So what happens now? You appeared when elsewhere needed you most. In our most desperate time of troubles, you helped restore our nation. You will always have a place here, my friend. And I want you to accept the greatest award I can offer. I name you Champion of Inequina. All right, so we're going to get um, Behold Kunzari's Betrayal. Let's see, place on the altar of betrayal in the Hall of Luna Champion to unlock an overlook of the Halls of Colossus. This is an outfit style. Just okay, <laughs> just as I expected. All right, these are all researchable. Researchable. Can destroy this. Just one more thing, Five Claw. If you appeared when there are still dragons to kill and Euraxians to deal with, but now it is time to celebrate. Take a few moments, talk to our friends, then enjoy yourself, champion. You earned it. All right. And all hail Five Claw, whom I name champion of an equina all right we have um we have finished the uh the main story in elsewhere there's a few more things actually there's quite a lot that's left to be done there's a ton of side quests but those will have to wait for another time right now I'm gonna see if I can find a dragon a world dragon to fight and then when we finish this video most likely the next time we come back we will be heading to Greymore the Greymore expansion let's take a look all right there is a dragon here there is one there as well Let's go mess with one. Yeah, well, next time I come back, we're most likely gonna go to Skyrim to start the um, We'll most likely be heading to um, to Skyrim to start the uh, the Greymore expansion. There is enough people. Because if we can't find enough people, we're going to have to, um... Wait, is he flying in the sky? If we can't find enough people, we're gonna have to let this one go for now.
No one's here. Yeah, no one's here, and because our gear is not great, it would be uh, very difficult to solo this dragon and kill him just by our... Just... Oh. Okay, he's flying off. And that's okay. Alright, um... Alright, let's go do some, uh... Where's Grotwood? I forget. Is this it? Yes. Um... Oh, that's a lot of money. But we don't really have a choice, do we? a lot of money, but oh well, let's just go. gonna do a little bit of research do some inventory management and then uh, when we return most likely we will be in Greymore we'll be starting the Greymore expansion I don't think we have anything here that we can research. I can't believe I've never invested in any of these things. Is this the tallest tree in all of Tamriel? Probably all of Nern, come to think of it. Provisioning is maxed out. Wow. Blacksmithing is still not done. Alright, we're gonna have a lot of work to do here. Alright, um I'm gonna end the video here. 
And uh, next time we come back, most likely we will be heading off to Greymore. I'll be seeing you in a bit.